Hello, in this video I'll be comparing two color grading techniques for better skin tones when it comes to Photoshop. And at the end of the video I want you to compare and see which one works best for you and which one you'd prefer to use for your images. So oftentimes there are so many challenges when it comes to color grading achieving even skin tones when it comes to Photoshop. But I found out that these are the best techniques when it comes to achieving nice skin tones. So you can start we have the same image this is image one and this is image two and it is basically the same photo so i'm going to be using technique number one for the first image so for the first technique we're just going to be using the empty layer option to color grade this very image so by empty layer we're simply going to come to the image right here and duplicate it by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard and after duplicating it we're simply going to come to select and come to subject so that photoshop can select the subject for us automatically and after selecting the subject what is left is simply coming to the layer icon right here and simply create an empty layer and after creating that empty layer simply come to the blend mode of the empty layer change it from normal and simply change it to color so the reason for changing it to color is because we don't want to change any luminosity values so after changing it to color just come to the brushes right here right click and get the brush tool and simply come to the hardness make sure it is zero percent and soft round brush is selected make sure the mode is normal or pass in the flat hundred percent so just want to sample a color on the skin area that we want the rest of the skin to look like so you are simply going to zoom in to the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard and you're just going to hold down the option key on the keyboard and sample a color on the skin so option and left click to sample the color so option for mac then alternate for windows and sample that color command minus to zoom out so what is left you're simply going to paint on the skin So take your time and the reason that's why we first of all selected the subject is because as we are painting on the skin we don't want paint away from or out of the subject. So I'm just going to quickly paint on the subject just like that. So as usual take your time as you're trying to do this because you want it to be a perfect job. So this is going to be coming in handy if at all you don't have or you don't have capture one because capture one tends to make this process a little bit easier and faster so i'm just going to use a small brush and paint on small areas so you can reduce on the size of the brush by using the box bracket keys on the keyboard to increase or reduce on the size of the brush so if at all you make a mistake on a given area just come and get the eraser tool or you can simply hit e on the keyboard so with the eraser tool selected the mode is set to brush or pass at 100%, flat 100%. You can eliminate or rub away colors from a given area that you did not want to paint in the first place. So I'll just come and paint away from uh, the eyebrows in this case. But sometimes this can be a little bit too much. And I'll be showing sure you can easily refine that effect. So right now the skin looks even and uniform but it looks overly done. So just come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking. So I'll just go with around 64. And you can see the before, after, before, after. So when you find that the skin tones are a little bit oversaturated, you can always come right here and simply come to hue and saturation and just target the reds or select the reds and you can take down the lightness to slightly reduce on the oversaturated skin tones in the image so this is technique number one for having matching and uniform skin tones so technique number two we're just going to come to the second image and we apply technique number two as usual duplicate your image layer so just come and press ctrl j to create a copy from the background layer then you're going to come to adjustments right here and select gradient map so under gradient map, don't mind if I told it is displaying a different color from the one I'm having in this case. So when it comes to gradient map, just hide the gradient layer by turning it off. Then make sure the gradient icon is selected. 
double click to open up the gradient properties so these are the gradient properties so just want to sample color from this very image skin tone and place it on the gradient map properties so click on the gradient properties or those colors to open up the gradient editor so when the gradient editor has been opened simply come to the sample size right here make sure it is set 5 by 5 average then sample is set to all layers and make sure sample sampling ring is selected so after doing this we just want to sample colors from the darkest color of the skin tone to the brightest color of the skin tone so you can see that we have two pointers right here and make sure the gradient is set to or the gradient type is set to solid and smoothness is a hundred percent so left click on this pointer so just left click on it and it's going to show location zero or you can simply type in zero right here so as soon as you left click on that pointer left click on the color option and it's going to open up the color picker so for this point it is the darkest point of the skin so just choose a darkest color within the skin and click ok then click on the brightest pointer or the right hand pointer make sure the location is set to 100 and left click once again on the color and choose a brightest point of the skin tone so this is more of a brightest point of the model skin tone and click ok then click in the middle make sure the location is set to 50 then click on the color pointer and choose a color that is going to be saturated enough to fit her skin tone so just sample this color right there and click ok so after sampling the colors from the image you're just going to come and click ok then come and activate the gradient layer and you can see the effect is affecting the overall image just come to the blend mode and change it from normal like we did in the first place change it to color select the white layer mask and press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect then come to the brushes and get the brush tool and make sure the mode is set to normal and soft round brush is selected opacity at 100 percent flat 100 percent and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches and if at all you have any other random color on these color swatches you can reset those by left clicking on these tiny squares then make sure white is the foreground color so just want to reveal the color grading that was hidden behind this black mask. So with white as a foreground color, you're simply going to come and paint over the model skin. So be careful and paint on the model skin. So you can see what this is also contributing. So be careful not paint on the edges. And if I told you make a mistake, I'll show you how you can easily rectify or correct that error or mistake so i'll paint just like that i hope you can see what we have in this case so this is what we have right now so before after before after the skin looks better so if I told you make a mistake, simply switch the brush back to black and black is going to erase or rub away the errors or mistake. So if I told you feel like the skin color is not saturated enough for your liking, you can double click on this icon and click once again on the color and click once again on the mid-tones usually and you can increase on the saturation if at all you wish to to your liking. So I'll just click OK so if at all the effect is too much and unnatural so i just want to reset this and erase once again by clicking on the layer mask and you can erase using black in the eyes if at all you don't want the eyes to be affected so when the effect is too much you can always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking then if at all you feel like the skin tones are still oversaturated you are simply going to come and add the hue and saturation adjustment layer change the the color from master or the option from master to reds and come to lightness and you can take the lightness down to slightly desaturate on the overly saturated skin tone so let's see how these are going to be compared to head to head so this is the first option that we had and this is the second option 
so I felt like I've overdone this so I'm just going to make them closer so you can see this is a before and after for a second option this is the gradient option and this is the empty layer kind of option so you can choose whichever works best for you in order to achieve or have even skin tones in your images so this is it for this video and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank for watching i'll see you in more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating